How did we go from fighting a revolution over a 2% tax on a breakfast beverage to what we pay today? And we're taxed on money when we receive it, when we spend it, when we keep it, when we invest it, and even when we die with it. It gets worse. We commute to work to make that money in a car that is taxed again to register on roads we're already taxed to build, fueled by gas that is taxed even further, and many times through tolls that tax you again. And to, that's to maintain bridges and highways and tunnels that already have billions of dollars, taxpayer dollars, allocated to them, and they're still falling apart. Oh, by the way, the more money you make and the more you pay in taxes warrants the government taking more and even higher percentages of your money. Now, if you're angry, hold that thought. Our federal tax code is 2,600 pages, 400 pages longer than the unabridged version of the Webster Dictionary. But if you read that tax law cover to cover and you did your taxes solely based on that, you'd probably go to jail. Why? Because that does not include the over 9,000 pages of additional IRS regulations that were never passed into law, but rather written by some bureaucrat sitting in his office that we still have to abide by. So much for of by and for the people. We revolted on a tax on tea 250 years ago. Our founding fathers are rolling in their graves right now.